what it do harris gang it's coco y'all y'all already know what today is it is talk to us thursday and this might air on a thursday y'all but it's talk to us thursday you guys and before i even get into the video i want to say thank you i took my glasses off can you see i want to say thank you for all the supporters and everybody that will start sending me messages as soon as i drop my mental check-in i know some people be like the mental check-ins be boring but the mental check-ins really help me like you guys don't understand so i'm feeling much better than i was yesterday which was wednesday hold on y'all i gotta so i'm feeling i thought someone was on my foot i'm feeling much better than what i was yesterday you guys but before we get into this video make sure y'all like comment subscribe make sure y'all hit that bell and make sure y'all write in yo y'all gotta understand if i'm out here going through my mental breakdowns and stuff even though like Danielle be telling me everything fine and she okay, I'm pretty sure like she's going through the same thing. So make sure y'all just send those encouraging words because if you was in a situation and y'all was doing what we're doing, I'm pretty sure that you will want people to support you and just help. Like you know, and if I was like that and I was watching somebody, I watch a lot of YouTubers, but no one's really going through what we're going through right now. But if they were, I would be supporting them because you just never know what a person is going through. But anyway, y'all. Let's just get straight into this video because y'all know today is Thursday, which means, y'all, which means five birthday officially has started. So we're going on a little, we're going to Great Wolf Lodge, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, but y'all going to see that video on Sunday. I'm going to vlog Sunday. Well, I'll probably vlog Friday. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but y'all going to see y'all. So it's like a big family get together and both our small families are small. So probably like 10, 10, like five, five, 10 people, y'all, but we gonna try to make the best out of it and everything, you guys. Y'all already know where five at. He's taking a nap. I don't know if y'all hear that like staticky sound in the back, but that's his sound machine, y'all. Okay. Oh, just to update you guys, so I finally made it into the Amazon Influencer program, you guys. So if y'all click the link in our bio on Instagram, on our Instagram we have together and Danielle's Instagram, or on my Instagram, or even on TikTok, you guys, go ahead and click my Amazon shop. I, I put everything that I ordered on there, and <coughs> I'm still editing and I'm still uploading, so y'all tune in let me check on fire real fast y'all all right y'all i'm back and five is doing great i just had to check on him so i posted this real late so we don't have as many questions but i have to come to y'all right now to even to tell y'all i mean so you know so we could just get into the video before i even leave like i don't want to leave and not post the video y'all already know what i'm talking about so I'm going to start from the bottom today. It says, I admire you in so many ways. Keep your head up. You're doing a great job. I love y'all. Thank you so much because y'all don't understand. So growing up, I had it rough. I could do a story time on my, my, my um, background. And I'm not talking about rough like that. But, you know, I kind of have to find my way. And I'm happy that I am where I am now, despite everything that me and my wife are going through. Because I honestly didn't know. If I was going to be sleeping on the street and stuff like that. And I'm just being honest with y'all because I'm very transparent with certain situations, you guys. It says, no question, but you're doing a great job. Coco, you're the girl giving you giving you your flowers. Thank you so much, y'all. And I love flowers, whether they real or not. I love them, y'all. It says, please help. I want to surprise my husband with a five-year anniversary vacation. Any ideas? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I feel like I want to take a um a five year anniversary um vacation too because five name is five, it's only right. But try to take them like to Hawaii or like um I love Vegas, but Vegas is basic. Um Atlanta got a lot of good food, Houston got a lot of good food, but what food, but what's very pretty, you should take them to Washington DC. It's so many things out there that if you haven't already seen that I'm pretty sure he would love to see. It says, thank you for being great. Thank you. It says, would you ever wear box braids? I really will wear box braids. It's so crazy because for his birthday, I was going to get braids, but I couldn't find somebody. I couldn't find anybody who wanted to braid into my ankle. And the person who usually braid my hair, she going through like something similar just like me. So she wasn't available, you guys. So, yeah. It says, how do you feel about another woman making your partner's play? Um... I don't feel that at all, but I'm just so attentive. Like, if I'm across the room, I'm looking like, oh, place being made? Let me go make her play. Like, I never give a person even the chance to be able to even reach to get a plate because I'm already making the plate. Like, you know, but I don't feel that. I don't think it's appropriate. Now, if it's like a cousin or something like that, yeah. But if it's like a regular ass 
sorry if it's a regular female no i don't feel that at all i feel like it's disrespectful but that's just me probably i don't know it says wish and five a blessed happy birthday we share the same birthday happy birthday laurel walker 79 79 period um it says can you do pranks y'all i can do pranks i don't even, i'm gonna start pranking my mama and she is so funny but i you all know she older she's gonna be 60 this year y'all so i can't make them too bad but i'm gonna start pranking her because that lady is funny if y'all have not tuned in to the mini prank that i did on tiktok go tune in what is y'all doing y'all let me tell y'all about tiktok tiktok they're so crazy so they basically been violating us for no reason and then um when i appeal it they restore the video so now our account got an account warning basically saying like if I get one more violation, my account gonna be deleted. But I just feel like they don't want us to hit a million. We're like literally this close to hitting a million. I guess they don't want us to. I don't know, y'all. Whatever. It says, I'm pregnant after I lost my son in 2007. How did you deal with your pregnancy without being sad? Honestly, um, um, we wanted it so bad i we both found closure because we put our i don't know how you lost your baby and i'm so sorry let me start off by saying that but we we cremated our baby we deleted our instagram for like a month like we just got into ourselves because we were lost but once we got pregnant again i feel like you know like that was our baby hand picking his sibling out for us so like you know like we don't we're sad like on his birthdays and stuff but like when i look at five i just think to myself like genesis picked you for us like you know that's why he wanted to leave like god had other plans like he picked us for you so he picked you for us it says have you ever thought about spending the night again with danielle since y'all are married privilege yes y'all so we have a visit this year it's towards the end of the year y'all but i am ready y'all i miss her so much i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm more ready too because five can come and i'm just ready it says hold on it says still have time for yourself you're a superwoman coco and i think you deserve the world um it says do all you gotta do for danielle make all those fans cook clean interact with us and still have time for yourself, Coco. Your support. Okay, I read it wrong. But I am, y'all. I'm going to get better. After Five's birthday, I can finally go into, like, just being calm and not always hyperventilating. Not feeling like I'm going to have anxiety. I didn't even know I had anxiety, but that's how I feel sometimes. So now that this is going to pass, no more major holidays coming up. Like, 4th of July, all those other holidays, Thanksgiving and stuff, really not doesn't mean, like, much like that because they're just basic holidays. But the ones that mainly passed away, I mean, the one that just passed was the main ones. The only one that's coming up that's, I'm kind of sad for me and for Daniel because both of our fathers passed away. So, but we're going to be there for each other no matter what. But you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to start doing that. It say, I love you here. I can't wait to see Five birthday weekend free Daniel. Thank you so much. And I'm excited. I just hope, you know, y'all say a prayer for us. Like, I want, wherever you going, I want him to be safe. I don't want him to, like, contract any type of, like, virus or nothing while we're gone. You just never know. You can get a virus anywhere. Y'all see how we call COVID just by going to all the stores, Coco, we want to go to. So, I, just keep us in our prayers. And I can't wait to share the video with you guys. Let me check on him, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. He doing good. And Mama Coco just got here, y'all. Um, it says, can you start doing mukbangs, taco, seafood, home cooked meals? I definitely can. I told y'all this before, but I actually bought the mukbang mic and everything. But I just was, you know, getting into the groove, like dealing with all the holidays. But now, like I said before, they're going to be over and I can finally just focus on y'all, five, and then you and not have to worry about like, oh, this coming up, this coming up, this coming up, like, you know. So yeah, I definitely can. I hope y'all watch them. Is y'all gonna watch them if I start doing mukbangs? Don't talk about my smacking because y'all know I smack with everything. I'm just playing. Okay. Um. It says, why did you stop getting your nails so long? I'm gonna answer this because I'm gonna get them long again. But I stopped because my baby was our baby. Let me stop saying mine because people get so I don't know. They just take stuff and run with it. So I stopped getting long nails because our baby was starting to stand and he was starting to try to walk and he still is. And while I'm trying to make sure he's not hurting himself when he fall down, I don't want to grab him. So y'all was worried about me scratching him when he was a baby and that wasn't even the case. This is the main thing. I don't want to accidentally poke him in the eye and I'm trying to catch him from falling. So once he started walking, girl, the long nails don't come back. It says, what are some good restaurants in Long Beach? We are coming down for the summer um restaurants like basic restaurants is like 
um louisiana charlie that place is bomb.com you guys bomb um yard house is pretty good they have good drinks um what else is downtown long beach uh, hooters is there i like their chicken it's chilies and everything down there but the main one you gotta try is louisiana charlie louisiana charlie is the bomb bomb.com y'all i want some right now um it says do you feel like you're being held back from life sometimes if so how do you deal i don't feel like i'm being held back from life because anything that i want to do like if i wanted to travel right now i could travel if i wanted to like i'm able to travel and i, I thank god that we're able like you know um just anything that i want to do right now i could do if i wanted to take five to new york we could we could go to new york if i wanted to go to hawaii we could go to hawaii but me being married and like i committed myself to danielle i actually want to wait for her and it's times danielle be like it's okay y'all go do this like no like i'm okay with being patient and waiting for my wife to return like i'm totally fine with that so no i don't feel like i'm being held back from life like anything i want to do i could do like if I wanted to go back to work tomorrow, I could go back to work tomorrow because I still have degrees. Like, I still have a, a certificate and everything in social work. Like, I could do all of that. But, like, I'm okay with being an at-home mom. I'm okay with being an at-home wife. I'm okay with just being an influencer. Like, I'm okay. Like, I don't want to do anything. And everything that I, me and Danielle talk about doing, that's in the future when she comes home. And that's just how it is. Like, she wanted me to be an at-home wife. And I wanted to get at home wife and a at home mom. So no, I don't feel like I'm being held back, y'all. Um oh, I hear five. Hold on. Turn off that blow saw. <laughs> oh, I thought I pressed stop. Alright. Um, okay. It says, Are you upset with Danielle? If not, how do you not be i'm not upset with danielle i tell y'all before like all the time like danielle caught this this case or the situation that she's in right when we first started talking so you know she used to like you know she used to tell me about stuff like that but then when she when it happened you know she she didn't regret it because you're not supposed to regret everything in life but you know like she vented to me and she just let me know like i don't know what i was thinking like you know and dealing with somebody that has ptsd and i was in afghanistan and an army and all that like you know like you really got to take into consideration that sometimes they are not their self. So, no, I'm not mad at her for doing this. And I'm happy that she actually went and we she did end up going to handle this now because this is going to be behind us. By the time five, probably one and a half, two, wishful thinking, y'all. Um, by the time she's home, all of this will be behind us. And he's not even going to know that Danielle wasn't there for a couple of months uh, while he was a baby. Like, you know, so I'm happy that it happened now. But, like, besides, it, like... Besides it happening like later on down the line and he's understanding like oh my mommy is in here like so no i'm not mad at her i will never be mad at her for handling her business so she could be with her family not at all it says keep up the good work mom must be definitely rooted for you and five is blessed with you thank y'all it says praise to you danielle and fivey thank y'all it say you are a strong woman and a wonderful mom and wife. Thank you, thank you. I love these type of messages. And I want to let y'all know out there, y'all moms, y'all out there doing y'all thing. I didn't know how hard it was being a, I'm not single, but being a mom, just one mom at the time with not a, when your significant other not here. But I be stressed out, so y'all be doing the damn thing. People with more than one kid, shout out to y'all. It say, I would love for you to be my nail ambassador oh i'm down just um let me know like are you in la are you gonna send press ons but if you send the press ons they gotta be the long ones i've been trying to find somebody that do press ons y'all so yeah um what's one of the things you want to do this summer one of the things i want to do this summer since five is going to be walking i want us to start going to museums me and danielle love museums when she was home so i'm gonna start like a series with me taking five to a different museum once a week you guys but i just want to be able to get my son out the house i kept him even though i used to go to stores i didn't really go places with him because i was just, like i was afraid and stuff like that but i can't be scared because they all brought it to my attention like you could get sick anywhere like i was really freaking out about today for his birthday or whatever but yeah um it says candy i need you have you ever dealt with your friends not liking Danielle? um i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all me and the people that I used to hang out with, like, I never had to deal with that because we were all so separate. Like, my my relationship was my relationship. Like, I barely talked about my relationship with them. They barely talked about their relationship with me. Like, we didn't bring our, like, we wasn't that, we wasn't those type of friends. Like, oh, come hang out with us. Oh, tell them our No, we wasn't like that. So, I never had to deal with that, you know. 
I'm gonna do a couple of more and I'm gonna end it, y'all. It say, I wanna um, always free Danielle the fast way and keep up the great work. You're killing this mom shit. I really wanna cut them off. I'm happy. Oh, this is the other one. It say, I really wanna cut them off and they're not respecting it. Um, and, but if you really want to cut your friends off because they're not respecting your relationship, just cut them off. At the end of the day, this is how I feel. And y'all know I'm Team Daniel always from the cheating and everything. I don't care. I just feel like you're not effing them. They're not paying your bills. They're not doing any of that. So if they can't respect the fact that you decided to be with this person, if this person is beating you down to the ground, leave by all means. But if they're not and you just decide to be there, stay. Like later on down the line, you're not going to live with your friend. You're not going to be in the bed with your friend like you have to do what's best for you and that's just how i feel about it so don't come for me if y'all didn't agree with what i said y'all i'm sorry that's just how i feel it says hey coco what do you want to do if you're not in love with your husband anymore and you just want peace honestly if you feel like you're not in love with him um i just feel like you should take a break because you married that person for a reason so just take a break you know get some time for yourself like gather your thoughts Go to Hawaii, look at the water, and just gather your thoughts because at the end of the day, you married that man for a reason. So it's not a, like it's not that you're not in love with him. Maybe y'all just disconnected a little bit, but y'all can always reconnect. Anybody can reconnect. Listen when I tell you that. It say, "Hey Coco, how do you stop the pain of having a braided ponytail because the middle hurts so bad?" Hurts so bad. And this is my last question. But y'all, you can't stop it, y'all. And, and I'm telling you, take that ponytail out right now. You gonna have a boss spot. I have a boss spot like about this big, y'all. Take it out, y'all. Just take it out. Um, my beautician who did this, it doesn't hurt at all, y'all. But she said that it hurts so much because you put so much hair. And not only do you put the hair, they put the rubber band at the top too tight. And then they pull it. You're not supposed to do that because you're pulling your hair up and you're putting pressure. So just take it out and, girl, do it how I told you. Like, I just learned my lesson. This is only, like, a half a bundle right here. But it's because she didn't want the tension because I already have a boss bar right there, y'all. But all right, here is gang. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vloggy vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was a quick little vlog because I got a lot of stuff to do because today is the day that we're leaving, y'all. We're completely leaving. So I love y'all, Harry's gang. Then you'll love y'all. Most of all, baby five love y'all. Don't forget to shout our baby out on. <sighs> I almost forgot about his birthday on Saturday, May 21st, y'all. I want all the shout outs. I'm reposting everybody, y'all. And if y'all want to send five something, y'all can send him a book, like one book. They got good books at the Goodwill and everything, y'all. I got to send virtual gifts, y'all. Hugs and everything, y'all. We love y'all, Harris Gang, and I'm out of here.